study presented at the November meeting of the American Heart Association grabbed media headlines before the meeting even started. Sources like WebMD would have you believing that smoking pot drastically increases your risk of stroke. Let's see what sources like Healthcare Triage think about that. To the research! The study we're talking about today, published in the journal Stroke, reports that marijuana users between 18 and 44 years of age have significantly higher odds of having a stroke than non-users. Using data from a national survey collected by the CDC, the authors concluded that recent marijuana users were 82% more likely to have a stroke, while the risk of more frequent users, defined as those smoking 10 or more days per month, went up to almost 150%. Come on! A lot of people smoke pot. If those between the ages of 18 and 44 were really a grave danger of stroke, don't you think we'd be seeing a lot more strokes in this age group? Feels like I've mentioned relative versus absolute risk, you know, once or twice, but here I go again. 82 and 150 percent are the relative risks, and since absolute risk is way more applicable in real life, that's what we should talk about. Relatively Risky over on Twitter took the time to figure this out for a lot of studies sensationalizing the news, including this one. And according to his calculations, the absolute risk increase of stroke for frequent pot smokers is 0.5%. Zero point five percent. We've covered what we know about marijuana use before. We did not specifically mention stroke risk in those videos, mostly because there's not much evidence to justify it. There just aren't a lot of non-case control studies focusing on stroke and marijuana use. The few that do exist suffer from the same problems mentioned here, along with the fact that it can be pretty hard to get honest self-reporting of marijuana consumption, which is what all these surveys rely on. And finally, the studies that do exist contradict each other. Some studies, like this one, report an association between marijuana use and stroke. Another study, analyzing only male data, reported no association between those two factors. The current study reported higher use for frequent marijuana users that also reported smoking cigarettes. And as the authors point out in their discussion, other studies do not report an association between marijuana and stroke once cigarette and alcohol use have been adjusted for. So all we can do for now is remind you of what we've said before. The level of harm currently associated with marijuana is much less scary than that of other things like cigarettes or alcohol. It's likely real, meaning greater than zero. So take that into account, but don't panic. We can always use more data, especially with changing marijuana laws and more and more people use it, and we probably need it to be better data, especially for it to be newsworthy. Hey, did you like this episode? You might enjoy this other episode where we go through all of the harms of marijuana, at least what we know right now. You also could like the video down below or subscribe to the show. And another way to support us is at patreon.com slash healthcare triage, where like our research associate Joe Sevitz or our surgeon Admiral Sam, you can help make the show bigger and better.